Hey guys, so I decided to go and get all shook up. <laughs> no. No. I decided to go and see the movie Elvis. And yo, guys. Oh. It was so... It was so moving and disturbing and just heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. So it's a story about Elvis Presley, the singer, musician, that <laughs> I feel those of us of a certain age should know who Elvis Presley is. Maybe the youngins might not. Anyway, so it's a story um, about his life told from the perspective of his manager, who was... Mm, I'll get to him later. It's a cautionary tale of how fame and greed and celebrity culture where celebrities are treated more like commodities than human beings eventually led to the tragic end of Elvis. Now, I don't I don't really care for Elvis. I'm not really a fan, but I am a huge admirer of Baz Luhrmann's work. And for that reason alone, I just I just had to see this movie and let me tell you, he did not disappoint. Baz Luhrmann is such an extravagant storyteller, if there's even such a thing. Like, the first movie that I watched by Baz Luhrmann was Strictly Ballroom, and I loved it. If you've never seen it before, I highly, highly recommend it. And the thing I love about Baz Luhrmann's work is that it's so, it's so distinct. Like, there's no mistaking his work for anyone else's. If you are flipping through channels and you come across a Baz Luhrmann movie, but you don't know it's a Baz Luhrmann movie and you watch it for five minutes, you'll be like, ah, I yeah, know, that's a Baz Luhrmann movie. That's how distinct his work is. And this movie was no different. Elvis is a visual feast. It's like Baz used every visual tool available to him. And the thing is, he uses them at just the right time and at just the right amount. But you guys, there were comic book graphics and and pop art images and these kaleidoscopic things that he uses as well in his movies i'm saying there in the cinema on some d d wow and it's so colorful and vibrant and all of this isn't done just for the sake of it just in general for control no 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 it's done with a purpose and it serves to tell the story i would say though that my only gripe was that in some of the editing, like, they would jump from present to future and then back to present, and I'd get a bit lost chronologically. I'd be like, wait, whoa, 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 Baz, 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 where are we now? Um, but then as the story progressed, I'd, I'd sort of find myself again. But otherwise, visually, wow. While the movie Elvis is a biopic, it's also a musical, and it features songs by Elvis Presley, as well as other artists of that time, like the architect of rock and roll, Little Richard, and Sister Rosetta Thorpe, who's also known as the godmother of rock and roll. It also addresses the um, complex relationship that Elvis had with what was then called black music, like your rock and roll and gospel and the blues. Although many would argue that the relationship wasn't complex at all. He simply <sighs> borrowed from black music and profited more from it than any black musician ever could because he was white. As much as this is a tragic story, there were moments in there that were hilarious. There's a particular way that Baz Luhrmann uses um, exaggeration or heightened reality to create humor. And he does this in this movie. And yo... It, there were moments where I might have choked on my drink. It was hilarious. Now, that manager of Elvis, the one telling his story. <laughs> so he was played by the incomparable, the incredible Tom Hanks. And <laughs> Tom Hanks has the reputation of being one of the nicest guys in Hollywood. And even his roles are generally you know, good guys, upstanding citizens and whatnot. But in this movie, mm, mm, he played the role of a snake. He had me seething in the cinema. I wanted him dead. I may have called him Satan. His performance was so convincing. Yeah, I know. Masterclass. Then, of course, the guy who played... Elvis. I've never heard of this guy before. I don't know who this actor is. 
Or at least I didn't know until I watched Elvis. Remember this name, ladies and gentlemen. Austin Butler. What? It's like he was born to play Elvis. He... Yeah. I mean, look, okay, let's just start with the resemblance. Look at this. And then, of course, his performance, which was... <laughs> he killed it. Not killed, killed. That's how good he was. From the, the, the Elvis foot tapping thing that he'd do and the and the hip gyration and the way that the way that he'd mumble his words the way Elvis did and the accent and also even like the inflection in his voice I mean <laughs> I was like also it's not just his physical performance that was amazing he also gave you a sense of Elvis the man a man who genuinely loved his family particularly his mom a man who desperately wanted to save his family from struggle and a man who was also kind of addicted to the adoration of his fans ah uh, 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 austin austin butler <laughs> listen he was outstanding in this film i don't know if there's oscar buzz around his performance in this movie but if there isn't May I be the first to provide just a little bit of Oscar buzz around Austin Butler's performance in Elvis. There. For this one, this one is a strong jog to your nearest cinema. And when you get there, freely give them your money and go and see Elvis.